to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakidis of JSA, and joining me today is Evan Pike. He is a Senior Director of Global Enterprise Solutions with Carrier, all the way from West Palm Beach, Florida, That's one right. of my favorite places. But today we're in Cannes, France for Data Cloud Global Congress, the 20th edition. And we're going to talk to Evan about Carrier uh, and all that it's contributing to the world. Yep. Yeah, thank you for having me, Buffy. Really excited. Um, and as beautiful as West Palm Beach, Florida is, it is. Con is also <laughs> incredibly beautiful. It is. I mean, there's no better place to have a conference, global conference like this, then here in Cannes on the French Riviera. A carrier is contributing to a panel here, from what I understand, about hybrid design for cooling and AI. Can you share how the company is addressing the growing energy demands of AI and maintaining sustainable operations? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the panel was conducted by our executive director for global data centers, which is Christian Sanu. Um, and we're really excited to be here. So this was Christian and Mai's first time, but not Carrier's first time here. Um, and you know, if you think about Carrier, we're really the global leader in intelligent climate and energy solutions. So you know, we love to be a part of this space. It's a fantastic opportunity for us to help solve and be part of the solution. Um, and for us, what that means is really around trying to optimize a the thermal load across the HVAC system. And for us, our solution is Quantum Leap. So Quantum Leap is really around optimizing that thermal load if you think about our HVAC portfolio, it's really the solution that we can deliver to our data center customers around a core portfolio of air cool chillers and water cool chillers, our air side portfolio, integrated into our automated logic BMS system, tied together with our NLight data center integrated management system to help to optimize for that thermal load. So we're incredibly excited to be offering this into the data center space, but for us, it also doesn't just stop there. Um, Carrier, obviously a global com uh, company, and we have a global service technician footprint as well. So for us, it's not just the, the first time when the equipment goes in, it's really around continuing that optimization across the life cycle of our equipment and our systems. And we have thousands of technicians that are deployed globally to help with that. And I would say lastly on this, on this question is, especially in, in Europe, there's a lot of regulatory demands. There right? are, yeah. So for us, what that means is making sure that we have uh, a waste heat recovery system that's also tied to our data center solution. So we can actually utilize that waste, waste heat recovery that might be coming from the servers. Um, so we can sort of reduce the overall net energy impact. Well, definitely doing important things. I'm sure you guys are so busy with everything that's happening yep. and evolving so rapidly in our industry when it comes to more sustainable uh, solutions and designs. I mean, as data centers continue to face these mounting pressures, to reduce emissions, how is Carrier evolving its climate control and energy solutions to support operators' uh, decarbonization goals? Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, for us, it starts with our system design, right? To make sure that our systems are as efficient as possible, make sure that we have embodied carbon reductions as well, and make sure that we're delivering that to our customers. You know, a lot of our customers are, are looking for that as part of their sustainability goals as well, and we love to be a part of that uh, partnership with them and that solution. Um, ALC, the building automation system, it's an energy management system for data centers, uh, a great portfolio of offerings. We have a lot of customers there that really helps to optimize how the system runs. Uh, but I think one of the unique things about Carrier is it doesn't just stop at the data center. Right. So for us, especially in the US, we're in one of every three homes and buildings. So we play an integral role around the entire decarbonization process. And um, Carrier is actually uh, partnering with utility programs as well as technology providers like Google to help provide a solution from a decarb perspective across the board. So we're really excited about that. It does sound exciting. I mean, efficiency is no longer just about PUE either. Yep. Uh, how are you helping customers balance system performance with broader environmental targets? Yeah, I mean, I think there's table stakes things like making sure that we develop our systems with low GWP requirements. Um, Obviously, I mentioned our, our ALC footprint as well, but really re leveraging our technology as well, right? So again, it's not just about that first system uh, installation. It's really around continuing to optimize the system and making sure that it's running at the performance that it needs to. So for us, that means that we leverage our bound predictive maintenance program um, and offering to make sure that the maintenance of the system and that the operational efficiency is continuing to be there as it was designed as well as leveraging a digital twin to continue to make sure that the optimization 
of that system across the life of the equipment continues to be there. Yeah, I mean, the digital twin is is really the path forward in our industry today. It really is. It really is. So I think, you know, if you take a step back, I think that quantum leap solution that we have really addresses the sustainability goals, but it doesn't um, impact our performance either, right? So we're able to balance the two as we, as we offer that integrated solution. Yeah, so where can viewers go if they want to learn more about Carrier's leading edge solutions? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, Google is our friend, right? <laughs> so a quick Google search on Carrier data centers, right at the top of the page, you'll be able to see that. Um, if you'd like to connect with me personally, um, LinkedIn, Evan Pike, I uh, would love to connect with you all and talk further. Evan, thank you so much for joining us yeah, and giving you. your insights about Carrier and, and what you've gained off that panel that was uh, here today at Data Cloud Global Congress. And thank you viewers for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. Happy networking.